So I've told you guys how this guy, Mike Johnson, became the Republican speaker. Um, and it's an interesting backstory. I mean, you had Kevin McCarthy as the Speaker of the House, but you had Matt Gates and Lauren Boebert and his little gaggle of, what is it, like eight people. Uh, they decided, we want to take this guy down. We don't like him. We want to take him down. We don't think he's sufficiently pure enough, which is kind of hilarious because on policy issues, they actually agree like 98%, Matt Gates and Kevin McCarthy. But Matt Gates is the chief virtue signaler, and he wanted to outflank all these people on the right, and so he does this... Um, this uh, moral purity crusade where he goes after Kevin McCarthy, and um, it works. You know, you didn't need that many defections to take down McCarthy, and there was very few. Like, over 95% of the Republican caucus was with McCarthy, but he still went down. Um, so then there was, okay, is it going to be Steve Scalise? Is, that, is he going to be the next speaker? Is it going to be Jim Jordan? Is he going to be the next speaker? And they shuffled back and forth through a few, and people couldn't find the backing because the pro-McCarthy people were really pissed off, and eventually, at the last minute, they all settled on... Basically, what they did is, who is the least personally objectionable person um, in the Republican caucus? So, in other words, who's friends with everybody? Who's liked by everybody? Whether they be, uh, you know, the old Tea Party people, the Freedom Caucus people, the MAGA people, the moderate people. Who are the ones that they all go, hey, this guy is a nice guy. I'll vote for him. That's fine. It's this guy, Mike Johnson, who literally seems like an AI-generated Republican. But the thing about Mike Johnson, which is very disturbing, is that he is an actual Kool-Aid drinking, hardcore, fundamentalist Christian. Like, he's the real deal. He's not like the people who, who are probably faking it. Obviously, everybody knows Trump fakes it, fakes being, you know, oh yeah, I'm with the Christians or whatever. Ted Cruz, I think, is faking it. Um, this guy actually believes it. And so we learned about his insane policy positions. First of all, he thinks that if a doctor performs an abortion, that doctor should be forced to go to a hard labor camp. A hard labor camp. Um, he thought that gay relations should remain illegal. Like, it should be illegal to have gay sex, even if you're not bothering anybody in the privacy of your own home, to consenting adults. He wants it banned. That's who this is. So anyway, some new video emerged, and this is from this week. I I'll let him do the talking from here, but... We basically just let a guy like Rick Santorum or Mike Huckabee, like a total religious psychopath. Now this is one of the most powerful people in the country, and as of right now, the most powerful Republican in the country. You could argue Trump is more powerful, but let's go second most powerful Republican in the country. Listen to this. Homie thinks God told him that he needed to be Speaker of the House. He thinks he's in conversation with God regularly. He's hearing voices. Look, I don't know. It is more of a red line in politics, or at least it seemingly is. I don't know if it's changed in recent years. But if you're like, yeah, I'm an atheist. I, you know, I don't believe in God. Or if you say, I'm an agnostic, or I'm not religious, right? That used to be like, oh, that person can't get elected. I don't know if it changed. I suspect if it hasn't changed yet, it will soon. But, like, I don't know why this isn't viewed as, oh, this guy's gonzo. Get him out of here. He done. Done. How many times have we seen, uh, I think Newt Gingrich once said, God chose him. I know Mike Huckabee said that. I know Rick Santorum said that. I think Mitt Romney had said something along those lines when he was running for president one of those times. You got all these Republicans who claim, like, no, I am the chosen one. God has chosen. Mike Pence! Mike Pence thought he was chosen by God to run for this presidential election. He's already dropped out way before Iowa. Never really caught traction. Got stuck at 7% or whatever it is. All these people. God, 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 God wants me! I'm so special! Me! God wants me! 
how on earth can you be in this position of immense power and you're believing nonsense like this? It's astonishing to me. By the way, this caucus that he now controls, they tried desperately to pass a bill that gutted home heating assistance, Meals on Wheels, the entire social safety net. And this is like, pff, Jesus is talking to me on, the regu on a regular basis, bro. He said, you have to take health care away from those damn kids. That's what he said to me. What are we doing here? And also, by the way, I love the, the uber religiosity and the direct line to God. At the same time, U.S. Congress is helping facilitate an ethnic cleansing and a genocide of Gaza. We're giving money to Israel. We're giving weapons to Israel. We just gave them 14,000 more tank shells. They've dropped 22,000 bombs, which have killed over 20,000 civilians, including 9,000 children. This guy's like, God, God wanted me, because I'm so special, me, to be in this position. Yes, I needed to help facilitate this genocide. Oh, my God. So uh, what I would ask uh, Mike Johnson... AI-generated Republican leader, is like, so does God pick, like, the, uh, the head of Peru? Does God get involved in the electoral politics of Botswana? How does he feel about Greenland's court system? Like, what are we doing? You're a grown-ass man. He's a grown-ass man. And there was video of him the other day. We didn't cover it. It was left on the cutting room floor, but it was... Like, he did some, he had to end some event, and he did it in prayer, and it was really weird, because it seemed like he was really getting into it, and like, he really thought he was talking to God. These people are crazy. I mean, they're just crazy. This guy is crazy. He's crazy. And he's the Speaker of the House. So anyway, good luck to the Democrats working with him. Not that the Democrats are any prizes on their own, because they're not. They're let us down on a daily basis. But, like, homie is off his rocker. He just gave a speech talking about how God chose him to be Speaker of the House, and nobody cares. This isn't even a story. Ten years ago, this would have been a story. And they did cover it when, you know, Rick Santorum said God chose me, or Mike Huckabee. Now, this is just like, this barely uh, cracks the list of like, hey, this is kind of crazy. This guy with all his power thinks God is directly talking to him. Now, nobody talks about it. So here we are. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.